this is Sabrina. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to share August walkthrough for my Hobonichi and then next week we will do reading stats June. So I tend to like to share on Fridays either my Hobonichi or my reading journal. I don't know if I've mentioned that but I just wanted to mention that just in case. So today is August and as you can see this is getting very chunky. I feel like I need to get like one of those uh, bands to help stay closed, but it's a beautiful book full of memories and I just, I love it. I know I say that every month, but I really, I really do love it. Okay, let's get started. So August, I didn't do anything here. Totally fine with that. August, we were finishing up a trip that we had taken to Idaho and we had gone to do some games and uh, I just found this dice and I thought that that would work perfect. So I went ahead with that color scheme. Also had this meme that I printed out as well. One more day of the trip and we went on a desert hike and saw some lizards. I have no idea if this is a lizard, but I went ahead and decided to use it and uh, look in the Pip Sticks sticker book and see if there was other, you know, colors that could work for a desert color scheme. So I found these. They remind me of like the paint swatches. So I did that and then I added a really fun list of everything that we did once we got back from vacation and I, I loved including that. Next up was the amazing Coffee Monster Co birthday sale and so I was talking to my friend Jen, Jen Boom Creates, so I added in a little bit of that, talking to her and what we talked about, also uh, what I got for the birthday sale, and then using a bunch of Helen's stickers as well. Turn the page and I loved this meme. <laughs> It says making it up as I go and it's a, a frog I assume or a toad sitting with cowgirl boots and I think an iced tea or a boba tea. So I went with that and I actually pulled it into my computer so I could type out this title and match the colors perfectly and then just added in some orange stickers and stamping. Over here, this is one that I posted on Instagram pretty quickly because I had just received my first order from Corky Heart Designs. I just love her stickers. Really wanted to share the new stickers I got from Corky Heart Designs. So I went ahead and went with this sticker. I think that was in the order as a freebie, maybe. And also this heart sticker and just made a running list of everything that went on during this really busy day. And here's a little peek at some of her stickers. I got thumbs up. This one was really good for bad days. Also books here. And then I got some super cute Halloween ones that I can use. This witchy one, this one as well. Then some really fun pumpkins. And then these word sheets, which come in different colors as well. So love her stickers. And I do need to order the Beetlejuice ones because those look so fun. And I just, I need to have them for October. Moving along into the sixth. I loved this quote. It was like a graphic quote, so I tried out recreating it here. Um, I, I want to say it's from New Happy Co. on Instagram. It was something different to try. I'm not sure if I totally loved it, but I just tried it out. Again, I do a lot of blocking in my journal, and that's just what works for me. Did some family shopping to get ready for the start of school. So I talked about that and doodled in a shopping bag. It was also International Cat Day, so I put a giant sticker there. And then we also went to see Harold and the Purple Crayon. Whenever I do hike pages, I tend to gravitate towards a kit that I got from the Coffee Monster Co. I think it's like Into the Woods or something like that, but I really love it and that's what I go for every single time. And then the little munchkins are once more with love. So my friend Jen, 
Jen Boom Creates. She sent me this amazing graphic of a skeleton mom. So I tried my best to play off of that. You know, I didn't have to use it in my journal, but I really wanted to. And so I made some watercolor flowers and then added in the Corky Heart Design stickers and just a list of the day. The next day was really special. My daughter got to cross the Golden Gate Bridge to move up to the next level of Girl Scouts from juniors to cadet. So that was very, very exciting and very special. I included a big title, a sticker here, and then a little strip of photos. Here is a re weekly recap and I just do a running list of different things about the week and include a to-do list. Have I told you guys about my love-hate relationship with to-do lists? Sometimes I include them more often than not. I, do, I don't include them because they're just not, they don't always work for me since life is so busy. So I actually had one. I do tend to put like to-do list on post-its and then, this is hilarious, but I'm going to share it anyways. But if I feel like I did a good job, I will save space in my journal and I will include that to-do list if I did a good job with it. But otherwise, I just don't like putting the to-do list there and feeling like I didn't like accomplish anything. Because I know I did. My days are so busy, but it may not just be the list. Anyways, it's moving on. My daughter got to celebrate her birthday at a water park with her best friend and I loved these stickers that I found in my stash from Once More With Love and I had um, some bubble washi tape again from my friend Jen, she's the best. And so I played off of that and made a really soft color scheme. I also included something really fun and I'm glad that I remembered to include this, but my kids' schedules came out and both of them have like periods for their school now since my daughter's in middle school. So I included that as well. This one, I really was starting to feel the rush towards school starting, wrapping up summer. And so I said too many tabs open and just made a giant doodle box. It was also left-handers day. So I talked about that with my daughter because um, we have a lot of family members that are left-handed, including my daughter and my husband, my mother and my mother-in-law. So I feel like that's more than most family members. I don't know. But anyways, left-handers day and there was also back to school picnic. The next day was just a big old case of the grumps and I used Corky Heart Designs to talk about it up here and then made a back to, back to school checklist. Like as I was preparing for the next day, which was the start of school, I just pulled up my phone and made a list of like everything that I did, even if it was mundane, which is filtered water because I like filtered water for my water jugs. You know, I cut the tags off my daughter's backpack. So a really fun list to include. This was the first day of school and our new routine. I think these are every minute a story stickers. And then this one is a clear sticker, the cut shop. The next day I was not feeling so great at all, which wasn't a great start to the year, not feeling so great. So I used this funny meme that says, this is fine. And then I said, just call me crab pants because I was just so grumpy and tired and not feeling my best. And then I talked about cookies and um, so my husband went out to get me crumble cookies, which was so nice. Over on the Coffee Monster Co. Facebook group, there's always some awesome freebies, or at least I was looking for some. I found some and I loved this one. So I played off of that and just added in some like warm yellow. I love the color. And then I colored in one of the books from Corky Heart Designs. Next up was my daughter's birthday and I just made a list of what happened during the day and just talked about the different things that I love about my daughter. I did something similar for my son's birthday, which is over here. I used the same numbers and also the same kit. I wanted there to be some consistency between his birthday and my daughter's birthday. And then this was a custom design drawing that I got from my friend Mandy. So I put a strip of photos here to talk about my daughter's birthday and then on a 
the back is a note from Jen. A note from my friend Jen and then a running list of like what happened during the day. Getting out the door on time is amazing. This was Monday right after school had started so it was like 10 points for us. And then I talked about all the different activities that we had going on during this day. And then my kids and their school stories, which I love when they share those because you know, they're getting older, so they may not share them as much. I was still feeling like really grumpy and like not myself. And as someone who's very busy and as a parent, it's not fun to continuously feel not so great. So I talked about that here. Again, used uh, Corky Heart Design stickers and this cactus and then feeling prickly today and I did want to end it on a positive. So I did talk about the thankful things that I was very thankful for. And then, you know, storms always pass, right? That's just how it goes, which is a wonderful thing. And the next day was really great. So I said, hello, new day. I talked about how great the day was and I got to talk to one of my friends on the phone. And then I just talked about what made the afternoon and evening really awesome. Use some Coffee Monster Co. washi tape. It's a vertical tape, so I just put it vertical and then added in some washi tape. Definitely some favorite pages from the month. So one of the trends going around Instagram around this time was to have chat GPT roast your profile. So I had my son help me out because he has that app or whatever it is. So I sent my son this picture of my profile and then had the app roast my profile, which was absolutely and utterly hilarious. So I had to figure out a way to add it in because it was super long. So I decided to just print it out and then do a flip up right here. So really love how that turned out. Also use some old colorful washi as well um, to go along with how colorful it was. Cause I, so Friday, got off work early and went hiking with my husband, talked about the hike and then um, just added in a few more details about the day. And these are clear stickers from a Allie Edwards kit. Then comes the weekend and we got some surprise rain and I had a purple umbrella. So I decided to, you know, include this picture because I absolutely loved it. Love the rain. I just love everything about rain. So I played off of that, found a favorite sticker, our favorite song really from college that was from Corky Heart Designs and just went from there to make this page and then included a bunch of stamped clouds. So this is kind of what I talk about when I talk about my list. I make lists on post-its and then I stick them, you know, I'll stick them here if I haven't journaled yet or I'll stick them in here. So like over here in September, I am a little bit behind on getting, you know, journaling done, but I always try to include like a post-it note with like one word so that way I can hopefully come back and this will jog my memory. And it just works really well for me a lot of the time to just do post-it notes if I don't have enough time. Okay, so going back here, I really loved how I was so productive today. So I did all the chores obviously had to document it and I had printed out some clear stickers from a scrapbook Allie Edwards kit and this one said making the most of it so I thought it would be fun and kind of a challenge to find some colors and other pieces that would go well with this page and I think overall it turned out pretty good. The next two days are completely opposite seasons but I absolutely love how both of these came out. I had just I think posted or was shared this quote about physically I'm in summer, mentally I am in fall, sipping on a warm drink, lighting a candle, cuddled up in a blanket and reading my book. So I just had to use this meme. My friend Mandy had just given me her new kit to work with. So I decided to play off of that and had a lot of fun putting this together. I even have a process video up on my Instagram. And then the next day was December daily uh, release day, which is a scrapbook project I've done for years and years. 
And so I figured, you know what, I am going to document that and just, you know, got a bunch of December daily supplies and stamps, listed out the different products I got, and then a short list about what happened during the day. Love these pages. Next up was the 28th and I really did not want to be a grown up and I found this sticker in my stash and went from there on figuring out my page. I put adulting and then I was like, well, I'm going to have to stamp don't want to be adulting. And I knew that was a lot of letters, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. And I also doodled some, you know, pretzels and then stamped a ton as well. And uh, I got to go on a walk with my husband and saw some bats. So overall, it was a really fun, colorful page to put together. Even if I was stamping a ton and coloring in, it was just fun to like pull bits and pieces uh, to put together the page. And that's something that I love about journaling is pulling these pieces, figuring out ways that I can bring the page to life. This one definitely tried something different. I just wanted to see if I could do this, honestly, because I probably could have found markers that would go with this image. But like I said, I wanted to try it digitally and see what happened. So I found this on Instagram, printed it out, and then once I had it printed out, I put it in here and I was like, well, now what? So what I did is I went back to my computer, typed out some titles, four titles for four different stories about the day. And I found these colors by getting them from this image. And same thing with the title, it's gonna be from this color here. And then just printed the titles out on clear sticker paper and absolutely love how it came together. It was pretty quick overall. Finished up the month with two really action-packed days. I took a day off from work and went on a really special hike with my husband. And I wanted to talk about that here and then three other little stories from the day. The month ended with my best friend coming to visit and we started working on a scrapbook that he wants to put together. And then we did all kinds of other things. I also got my happy mail from the Coffee Monster Co. So I included samples there and we watched the uh, movie Beetlejuice. So a really fun, fun month that, you know, I loved putting together. I mean, we started in summer, um, no school, and then we ended with school and just lots of things going on in the month. So I hope you guys have enjoyed another very chatty walkthrough of my August in my Hobonichi. I appreciate you watching. All right. Have a great day. Bye.